So I came out today to work on my shadow video for the photography lesson and it's not going to work so well because it's raining. Things to think about when you're doing your shadow pictures is you want to get out early or late so the shadows are longer. Mine's kind of short right now. It's about 930 in the morning and I've got this. It's just a cooking rack as you can see, but I want you to notice when I hold it further away from the ground or my subject, it's more diffused. You can't see the fine details and as I lower it closer to the ground, you can really see the details of the shadow more so. And you notice how when it goes up towards the top up here, how it kind of just dissipates. So you're going to want to think about that if you choose to use a pattern. Other things to think about is obviously you don't want to be in a shadow to do a shadow, but I don't want to see a bunch of the same things like as I walk in my backyard here you can see that the tree is making a pretty neat shadow and it's kind of thick on its trunk and I don't want to again just do a bunch of shadows of trees and things like that I'd really like you guys to do something a little bit more unique and different again don't forget about these things called cookies use those and just have fun with this this is just supposed to be a fun uh, photography activity Think about the way shadows fall on other objects. It doesn't have to just be a flat surface. You can see what's happening. Here's another nice, fun shadow. You can see the shadow from the tree, but you also see the shadow from the siding. Again, look at the way the shadows play with your image. You're going to be turning all your images black and white, so you're going to get that strong contrast, which is going to be really nice. Remember, you're going to need the sun. If it's not a sunny day, you can't do this project. So have fun with it and enjoy. Early morning and late evening make the best shadows. You can see the dog shadow here. This is late evening. When we were walking, we came across some of these paw prints, which really added to the shadow of the dog. I really like the contrast of the black and white and the dramatic feel that I've gotten. So please remember when you're making these, I don't want to see all trees. I want to see different things relating. And it was a fun play with those paw prints. This is an example of the cookie that I referred to. It's a nice cutout to create that different kind of a shadow. I've been doing some yo-yoing on this quarantine time. And I want you guys to remember there's fine detail that you don't want to lose. And I really tried to capture the string. The last picture shows that the best.